gotten it already. There, we've seen some, and you probably have seen it in the news as well. But their estate is is uh, and feds are are kind of putting feelers out there for infrastructure type projects. Um, if they do some kind of stimulus thing, that they want uh, some things that are are ready to go, and uh, I think that's that offers open to everybody in the United States. I think, so. Yeah, I got alert. Well, you know, I got it through uh, surely through economic development, and I think, and we got a letter from ISAC from Bill Peterson, uh, basically encouraging us to do a joint, you know, instead of the, all the towns sending something in and the county sending something in, and, and economic. And surely was in again this morning, and we're going to talk about it this afternoon. That you know that you would uh, get together with Shirley, you know, do you have any anything that would uh, would qualify for these type of projects? And we do a joint request to the Iowa Department of Economic Development and then the Panera goes forward. So you could think about that and visit with Shirley and uh, January 16th is the deadline. I think I read that one. Yeah, it says that here. So, just pretty short notice. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. <coughs> yeah, I mean, I've heard some discussion about the just economic stimulus and possibly you know, some infrastructure projects. Uh, with the time restraints that they've got on here, uh, it sort of limits you as far as what uh, projects. Uh, I mean, basically, throws out any, uh, probably any uh, bridge bridge projects would not uh, fall on that unless you had something on the shelf already to go. It's typically a bridge project time you get parked a lot. Especially if you're buying right away, if you got archaeological clearance and all the other clearances, it's going to take you close to a year to get it. Unless the DOT is going to. Don't I mean I, I don't think I think this is just to get an indication of what's out there, and I I I don't think they can get it moving that quickly. Well, the thing here says is on ready to go infrastructure projects. Ready to go means the project will need to be under contract and, and beginning within 180 days of the federal full. Under contract, all right. Yeah. I guess I didn't, when I read that, I didn't. And it would be completed with two years of the start date. You know. hmm. So, I mean, is your understanding that they're going to I mean, how are they going to? Uh, I, I find I find that I find that bizarre that they're saying it needs to be under contract. That's 180 from what they normally do. If you've started the project, you're on your own. I mean, that, that, isn't well, that strange? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I, if, if if there's and there's probably some counties out there that that do have projects. On the shelf, you know, waiting for funding. And what about our next under contract? Like our bridges, our next, you know, our next. What's our next bridge project after? Uh, one of I have to look. Well, you talked see. about. I know you talked about another one out, you know, on the north side of Wall Lake Township. Yeah. Real close to. Around the corner. From that and we one. talked about doing, uh, you know, moving the road to be cheaper than building the bridge for the road. You know, by Gary Langmines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, that type of thing. That's, and, <coughs> and where are we on that? You know, we're, we're going to look into some type of uh, relief for that area up in the, by Shaler that that third bridge has been closed on that one branch of the Boyer. Of you know, one time you you brought, you know, rather than redo that bridge, go you know, around the move, the, you know, that yeah. type of thing. Those, yeah. those are two things that, you know, I've talked about the, you know, the, that. That big bridge in uh, Coon Valley, you know, north of Grand City. Yep. That's a huge. That's a huge project. Yeah. Yeah, and I, 
that's what I was thinking of something like that that you know you said well you know it's still sturdy doesn't have a weight limit but you know yeah. that, that's a big project and uh, I, I still think there needs to be more investigation I, I just find that really strange that they're asking for those that are under contract that's that's 180 degrees from what they normally do if, if you've already gone under contract you've already made the commitment to pay for that and well, so why why would they want to be I mean the only, I guess the only type of projects that I can think of uh, that, that you could possibly have under contract in 180 days would be overlay like payment patching overlay uh, uh, but but it's still oh, it's it's like you know, the, that overlay project yeah that's two million dollars yep yep but but you've already made the arrangements and the commitments to finance that. Why would they be considering? Well, see what I'm, yeah. yeah. Why would they want to put more well, money? Well, it's a different. In, we're in a different environment. You know, a lot of states and cities are, you know, broke. I mean, I, I sure. You know, it's a, I sure. think we're in a different. You know, we've always. You know, you're talking about. You know, if everything's the budget set, the grants have been applied for, some grant money, some match money, and you have to have everything in order. I think this is different. I think the states, you know, I don't think they really know exactly how all this is going to work. You know, we don't know. It's all subject to, you know, when they pass this stimulus package, you know, how they're going to divide how they're going to divide it up between New York and, and, and Iowa and, and so forth and so on. I think, you know, I think the spirit that this is constructed in is we want to get our ducks in a row and get get our wish lists, you know, put together. Put together. So if we don't, you know, there'll be subway projects, rail projects, I mean, you name it. The 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 downside. Uh, is is the fact that you know if you've already got a committed project you've 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 aligned your funding whether it be bridge fund or or your additional road yeah. funds to do a project and so it, it really needs to be a, a a county funded type project because you know a lot of those are funding at eighty percent or, or or whatever and and so you're 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 only really open to having locally funding of, of a small percentage of that project, you these really need to be a, a project that you were self-funding out of your county balance. No. But the other thing is, I mean, there's two things. That, you know, it says 180 days from the, from the d federal appropriation, which, you know, who knows how many months down the road that might be. That's one you need to be under contract? Yeah, 180 days from the federal appropriation. So that's a little different. That gives you a little bit more time, possibly. Uh, but the other thing is, is are they going to are they going to attach all the federal requirements like they do on other federal aid projects to this? So like, you know, even that project up there where we're talking about rerouting the road, uh, and you gotta buy right away, <coughs> that right away procedure, if you're buying it for federal aid standards, there's a lot got a lot more steps in it than if we're doing it as a local project and we're just buying because anything to include federal funds, you gotta buy it. Um, Typically, you know, you got to buy it according to. You know, I don't think they would re relax that. No, I don't think. Uh, yeah, maybe you could but you know, they they contact some other engineers. Well, I think I need to contact the state and see yeah. what the what the <coughs> local system down at DOT knows about this. And uh, I mean, I, I would guess again that you know, the ones that are really going to be able to jump on the bandwagon would be. You know, counties that have had projects waiting for funding that they've already got designed. Uh, but at the same time, and and yeah, then I guess with with your interpretation right there is they can go ahead and sign the contract and be good to go. But when we first read it, we were 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 thinking that it, you already needed to be under contract that you didn't have your additional no, 180. You, you got to have 180 days from the time they do the kind of appropriation, which again. Uh, I think a bridge type project where you got to get to Army Corps and, and buy right away and, and DNR clearance and all that.